Hello, this is Ilchibuko. You're watching Tao Thursday with Ilchibuko on Brain Education TV. Today, I will talk about Open your heart to love. Perhaps some of you may be thinking, well, you know what? I want to love and I want to share love. And I want to be that love that people talk about. That unconditional love sounds so wonderful and great. But in real life, what happens is always I meet people who use me. I meet people who hurt me, betray me sometimes lie to me and I feel like I'm used or I cannot keep my heart open because otherwise people hurt me. Maybe some of you may be thinking that way. First, I want to mention that you want to learn how to be in a present moment. What does that really mean? That means you experience this moment right now. What now is offering to you fully. This moment is offered to you infinitely. So if your awareness is focused on the possibilities and potential of what can happen, you can always plug into the energy that you want and you wish. But if you are not aware, you may be on the mercy of your past experiences that made you think about the time that you got hurt by somebody. So a lot of us may be living in the present moment in the past. So even if the opportunity is right here, right now, maybe you may meet most incredible person who can be good friend to you or can do many great things together. You may not see that person the way he or she is, because you have that viewpoint of being hurt by somebody from before. You may not be given an opportunity to see what is really happening in front of you in the present moment. What is happening right now? Am I living in the present moment or am I always bringing up the past? Then how can I be in the present moment? First, move your body. Just sitting around and doing like this, creates lots of thoughts. And then thoughts can tap into the emotion of the past. An emotion of the past tap into where? The memory. So that's why our practice, we will be doing tapping exercise to feel, to be in the present moment. So you can save yourself from being stuck in the past, in the present moment. We all want to do that don't we? If we lived in the past, in the present moment, we cannot create our life the way we wish to. Number two, I have a choice. I have a choice to create anything I want right now. That means that you are shifting from the victim of being hurt by someone, which is environment dependent, or circumstance dependent, but you'll be able to make a choice on your own, no matter what is happening all around you, so you no longer have to think about that time when somebody used you, that time that when somebody hurt you. If you can say, I have a choice to make my own life, that means even if that person hurt me, that can be the strength for me to tap into my inner power and creative power existing inside of me to make my life joyful and happy on my own. The happiness, anyway, where is it? Happiness. It's not in somebody else or something else or situation. So don't wait for the situations to get better to be happy. Don't wait for someone to come to you to be happy. So when we know that that is a choice to feel joy and happiness, then you no longer have to be on the mercy of somebody coming to you to make your happiness. Isn't that powerful? Now, with that being said, there is number three. Awaken 
to your true self-love. And I want to tell you that you, each one of you, have power to love. Each one of you have capacity to love everyone. Each one of us have the deepest mind inside of our hearts want to share love. I don't need to be in your living room to know that you have that or not. I know so. That is the truest essence that we all possess inside. And when you connect to who you truly are, you'll be able to overcome what happened before and joyfully, truly open your heart fully to love yourself, love others. I have a capacity to love fully. You can feel that and you can own that and intentionally create the life the way you truly want. If we are all able to connect to your truest, pure essence, the love itself, that love is about giving and sharing of love because the source of love is not other people or other things. The source of love is the love that is existing all around us, which is the universe, which is the nature. You can connect to the source of love, which is existing infinitely, and fill yourself with that love to share to other people. I hope you like this topic of opening yourself to love by connecting to your truest essence. Thank you for watching Town Thursday with Ilchibuko. Next time, I'll be sharing about the meditation to how to open yourself to love. See you soon.